try improving your teaching skills with this classic one minute preceptor technique. So what have you got there? So this is a 45 year old woman who fell down three steps and she landed on her right outstretched hand. Um, she had some pain and swelling over the lateral part of her elbow when I examined her, uh, as well as some pain over her distal radius. Mm -hmm. uh, her elbow flexion is also decreased and she has pain with supination. Okay, so what do you think is going on here? I think she just has a simple sprain of her elbow and wrist. Okay, um, did you think about uh, anything more serious? Well, I looked for fractures on the x-ray, and I didn't see any fractures of the elbow or the wrist. Um, and when I palpated over her snuff box, uh, she didn't have any pain or tenderness, so I think a scaphoid fracture is quite unlikely. What we'll do is we'll go and take a look at the x-rays, mm -hmm. and when we do, I want you to take a good look at the lateral view of the, of the elbow, okay. and look for a sail sign. So you see that when the fat pad's elevated by intra-articular hemorrhage. And that sometimes can be the only sign of an occult radial head fracture. So, let's go take a look. Perfect. You were right to think of a fractured scaphoid with that mechanism of injury. But I think with the lack of tenderness and the normal x-ray, I think that rules it out. But I do think she probably does have a fractured radial head. If you look at this sail sign here, you can see the elevated fat pad. And even though we can't see a fracture on the radial head itself, we can infer it from seeing that. So, I think we should treat her for that. Okay. So we'll go back and see her. Sure.